Oh, this is a perfect weekend. You ever go to somebody's house and they hey, come on in the backyard, we'll have a backyard mm -hmm. party, right? And they have the fire pit. And, oh, I would like to do a whole makeover on a backyard today, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So check out this picture. Look at that. That backyard before and after pick, huh? This is a home in Delaware County, and that fire pit, oh, look at that, also doubles as a grill. Oh, man, can my backyard look like this, Chris Murphy? Absolutely, especially if you're in Aston, PA. In fact, take a look at this. This pool party started at 8 o'clock this morning. The kids are in the pool. This is part of the makeover. And check this out. As Mike said, how about a fire pit that doubles as, yes, our barbecue? And we've got hot dogs on the grill again at 8.15 in the morning. So... What did it take to transform this backyard? You saw the before, and this live is the after. So let's talk to Maureen and Bob. Don't call me Bobby Clark, not the <laughs> NFL star, uh, NHL star. Yep. Um, tell me what it took to transform your backyard, and why'd you guys do this? Well, we did it um, to keep the kids around, right? The, we, we have friends at pools, and it keeps the family atmosphere. It keeps the kids around so you know where they are. Uh, it started, as you saw from the before pictures, we had to level a yard off with a, with a retaining wall. Um, so that was the first step to get What'd the yard What'd that cost? Uh, you know, depending on how big they just are. Just how much did it about, cost? Uh, about about fifteen to 20000 Okay, that's just a retaining wall. So, yeah, so this was a phase project to make sure we could spread the cost out. And you recommended doing it in phases so you simply can afford to do it. Um, the pool itself, how much? This pool uh, is probably about twenty-five thousand. It's okay. a it's a drop-in, so it's all done in one day. Wow! It's a fiberglass drop-in one day, but then you have all the stuff from around it. Okay. So, to look at. And then, how about all of the pavers around the pool? So we had a lot of design advice from uh, Nature's Call, uh, Kevin Cleaver, who runs that, and he did a lot of this with us. And then, really, this is where you kind of I kind of lose a little track. But I would say probably all of the work around here, another, you know, twenty-five to thirty. We did a lot of work here with Cambridge with the. Um, as you'll see with the fire pit and the, the, fire. the barbecue. So it was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. The fire pit's so cool. It doubles as a grill. And was that something you thought, all right, this is going to be so fun because on cold nights we can fire it up for the fire pit and stay warm. On summer days, let's turn it into the barbecue. Yes, that was kind of it. You, the kids can jump from here to there and, you know, go back and forth. Uh, it, and then, you know, you can cook on it. What the heck? Man? All right, Maureen, I've, 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 I've got to talk to you as sort of team mom. A lot of these kids are fellow little leaguers. What has this done for your social life, having this destination backyard for the neighborhood? It's, it's very uh, active for the kids and the parents come and enjoy it as well so it's a fun time you should stop over <laughs> I'm, I'm there and thanks for the coffee and uh, I appreciate it they are so hospitable and this kind of backyard makes it conducive to just that Mike how fun is this it's beautiful uh, now I would take that giant floaty out of there the pool's too small for that giant floaty I was just holding my breath please don't hit your head kids yeah, seriously. Uh, but uh, I love it <coughs> I love it uh, weenies on the, the grill it's, it's 818 <laughs>